Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome, I'm a 31 year old, how did that happen? <laughs> Beauty addict from Scotland. I've had a few new subscribers recently, and I feel like I should introduce myself a bit more. From the Highlands, lived in Edinburgh, now I live in Alloa with my two cats, sausage and potato. This is the third video I'm filming today, I'm quite proud of myself, because I'm trying to like just put out videos as much as possible now, not just stay to three days a week. So anyway, today as you can see with the title, I'm going to be doing a Melt Cosmetics haul. They sent me a huge box of stuff in PR, which the cats are seeing birds out the window, which just blew my mind. And uh, I actually already filmed this, so I don't have the big huge box to hold up, but I lost the footage on my SD card and I uh, almost threw my camera out the window. It's not its fault. It's the SD, it's probably my fault but I wasn't going to throw myself out the window. So, instead, I've gathered it all together and uh, we're going to go through what Melt sent me. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the brand and then do this video because it's so exciting to have such a cool brand send me PR, I never thought it would happen. Anyway, let's jump into what they sent me because I want to like show it and do swatches and then I can properly like put it into my collection and start using it all. So, the first thing, I'm just going to go with like what's staring at me. The first thing they sent me was the Melt Amore E Mariposa face palette. I already have the eyeshadow palette and um, I've done a full review and tutorial on that but they sent me the face palette that matches it and this is like six blushes. I don't think I'll get much use out of these two because they're really dark but these other shades are really really pretty. I'm actually wearing this shade here today as a little bit of blush and the bright pink actually I forgot I put that on so yeah these are the four shades I can definitely use and get away with they're very similar upon swatching them aren't they like these two especially like it looks like I've swatched the same thing I haven't but they are a bit different on the skin they are actually quite pale I was quite shocked the bright pink though is so pigmented. I used it a bit today and it went it went dark. And then that's the two other shades. Probably wouldn't be able to use them on my face. But that's the kind of risk with face palettes. It's actually why I wouldn't have bought this palette because quite often in face palettes there's shades like you can't use or they just don't work for your skin tone. Uh, and that's the case with this. But it's only two out of six so I can use all the other four. And yeah, it's very pretty and the packaging is gorgeous. Melt is very heavy quality. And then the next thing they sent me was the palette. Again, the um, um, Amore E Mariposa palette. So um, my friend Amy actually bought me this as a birthday present. And then when I posted myself using it on Instagram, that's when Melt messaged me. And I was like, Amy, it's your fault <laughs> um, that Melt contacted me. Can we keep the heat in? Hmm? So I said to Amy that I would send her this palette in like as a thank you because obviously I don't need two and she didn't buy one for herself so this is what it looks like there's a full swatch and review video up on this on my channel if you want to go and watch it so I won't bother swatching it now but it's really really pretty and I really enjoyed playing with this palette and I really liked the look that I did hopefully it's up on screen uh, yeah so that's from that collection and then the next thing they sent me was the blueprint palette that is what the packaging looks like it's not going to focus is it can you even see it's got like blueprint oh there we go like it's got like blueprint designs on it how cool is that but I actually already have this palette here um this is what it looks like it's very very pretty it's more of an accompanying palette I can't use this on its own because it's only got two mattes in it to be honest I wouldn't really know what to do with just two mattes but let me swatch these blues for you because they are absolutely stunning like how gorgeous is that I need my makeup tools I'm wiping everything on my pajamas like how beautiful is that? That blue. Looks like the blue I've got on my eyelid right now. That's not, it's the Lois Cosmetics. Meet me at midnight. And then I put a bit of shimmer on top for filming this video so that I looked ever so slightly different for this video because I'm filming three in one day. And then I'll swatch. That's the brown side of it. It's a really, really pretty palette. It's just, I can't use it on its own because like I said, it's only got two mattes in it, but I like using it with other palettes. And uh, obviously, because I already have this, I've promised this other one to one of my other sausages because, like, share the joy. You know what I mean? I don't need two. 
so one of my sauces is going to be really happy with that. I know she really wants it. And then the next thing they sent me was the brunette palette. I'm pronouncing it brunette even though it's not spelt the same, but I figure that's how it should be pronounced. I don't know. How pretty is that? And actually, when I opened it, I thought, my lord, that is so much nicer in person. However, it's very light. It doesn't go very deep, but let me swatch this. Melt eyeshadow quality is phenomenal. I've got a few melt palettes. Um, I've also decluttered a few in the past just because I was skint and I needed the money. Um, but yeah, the quality of melt is really, really, really good. But the final four in this palette is a bit like more where it's at. Are they not stunning? Potato is doing a jobby. No, it's not. It's sausage. Sorry, potato. How beautiful is that? I really like these two. This is a lot better proportion in my opinion. There's five mattes and three shimmers, but again, it's quite light. I don't think it's going to work in a very deep skin tone, but if you are lighter like me, this would make a really nice brown smoky eye on you. However, I promised this to a sausage as well because she likes browns and neutrals and they're not really my thing. So again, it'll go to a good home. I'm so super grateful to have got these things in PR, even if I've like already got them or they don't suit me or whatever. Like it means I can still like share the joy with other people. You know what I mean? So I'm never like disappointed if I get something that I can't use or whatever. Oh, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I'd rather share the joy than keep it just for keeping it. Anyway, the next thing they sent me is, I've got I've gotten rid of all the boxes as well and they were all really pretty. The Supernatural Mascara. I've actually not tried this yet, but I'm really bad for just opening a mascara when I get sent it. It's got like a kind of curvy hourglass wand. I've heard good things about it when I posted the picture of this stuff. A few of my sausages said that they've tried this mascara and they really, really like it, so I'm excited. I pretty much only use mascara on my lower lashes because I always wear falsies, but you always need a new mascara, don't you? And then the rest of these things are just like little pots and pencils. And it's a very exciting thing to look at. So, they sent me a bunch of their gel liners. I feel like Melt are really known for their gel liners. Uh, and they sent me eight and I've never had even one in my life before because they're so expensive. Melt's one of those brands that to me is just so cool but it's really quite unaffordable. Like to buy something from Melt is a big purchase for me and it, like I have to hype myself up to do it, you know, because it's so pricey. Uh, so yeah, I've never tried these before but I'll put up my swatches of these on the screen so you can see them. Really excited to have a black because I lost my ABH jet liner and didn't have a replacement for that but I'll show you my other two favourites like while we're here. Look at this colour. Like are you kidding me? That's called Steel. That's one of the reflect ones. And then this one, um, Cultura, is like a brownie mustard. I'm gonna have to swatch these two just while we're sitting here. Like, look at those. <laughs> are you kidding me? They are so pretty, so cool. That blue especially I have to say. So yeah, I've used these a couple of times now, and I really like the formula. I used the green in my Beauty Bay Earthy palette video, and I just had to build it up a wee bit, but it's a beautiful green. And uh, I used the silver in my Midnight one. We're really bad at shutting the door behind us, aren't we, boys? They obviously don't know that the price of electricity is rising. <laughs> they just leave the door open. Yeah, so the formula seems really nice. I can kind of see why people are so hyped about them, but I plan on using them a lot more. Like, I want to do a look that's just like a mustard smoke and just see how that goes because there's a really cool eyeliner, which I'll show you. They sent me the new Slick Waterline eyeliners. And there's one shade in here that I, a, a lot of you will know. I'm just obsessed with this color, but I'll swatch them all on me blush coloured covered hand. So there's like really pale love like that is perfect for me. I love a pale waterliner and my favourite one. Oh that's a nice double chin. By Too Faced. Look how much I've used it and I'm like scared of finishing it but now I'm not. Um because there's like Two or three, well, two of these are so pale that they'll look great in my waterline. And then there's a few darker ones. This caramel one's really pretty. And then this brown, I don't have a really nice dark brown one. So that is fitted into my collection excellently. But look at this olive shade, like I am all 
olive about this. I'm giving it a big swatch so you can see the colour. That is like a mustard olive eyeliner. Are you serious? That is beautiful. Like when they first showed the swatches of these, everyone was going nuts about this colour and I can't believe I have it. I can't wait to do a look with it. Boys, please. So yeah, all five of the new waterliners and I'm really excited to use them on my eyes. They are so creamy and soft, like to swatch them. Like you put zero pressure on and they go on and I've seen their tutorials where they just like put them on and then smudge them about and make like um, makeup looks out of them and I want to try that as well. I want to do everything with all this stuff. I probably should do like a melt video next and just do like a big eye look with all the liners and all that stuff. And then the last thing that they sent me was a bunch of their lip liners. I am a lip liner addict. This is one of my lip liner cases. Um, I don't know why I'm so addicted to lip liner, but I really am. But also I use them as water liners to be honest as well. I'll put them anywhere. Yes, yeah, so that's one of my cases. So I actually need another one of those because the other ones are just in a random drawer. And uh, yeah, these are really pretty. I've used this shade here, Sepia, which I'm throwing away. I've used that once and that's nice. Um, they, they do feel like compared to the water liners, these are very dry and a little bit kind of scratchy. I've not really played with them enough. Like this red especially, like feels quite dry and scratchy. Like the colors there, but like they, when I used the sepia one, it was a little bit like slightly painful putting them on my lips until you really warm them up. They're quite like sore lip liners, which is a weird thing to say, but if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes if a formula's not super smooth, they can, like, lip planers can be ever so slightly uncomfortable to use, can't they? But a nice range of brunes, nudes, I meant to say, and a wee pop of red in there as well. I feel like there might have been something else that they sent me and I've just, like, misplaced it because, like, I put all of this into my drawers and then realised afterwards that I'd lost the footage when I went to edit it yesterday actually so but <sighs> sausage. But yeah that's all I can find right now I think that is everything to be fair and that is such a lot of stuff and again I have to say thank you to Melt because it's one of those brands that I just think is so cool and it's unaffordable to me like it's just one of those brands I look at from a distance and think oh I wish I had that you know what I mean? And also a massive thank you to Amy for originally sending me this palette because I'm fairly sure, like, oh, I'm like 99% sure it's when they saw me using this that they were like, we might send her some PR and then they did. And that was just really cool. So it's like Amy's, down to Amy basically, that I even started getting something from Melt. So I'm just blown away um, and I just want to sit and smooth, do you know what? I was going to say I'm blown away and I just want to smoosh it all in my face so let's just smoosh all these liners on my face because I've filmed three videos and I'm ready to take all this makeup off and get into bed and start editing my pictures so I'm just going to swatch all the gel liners on my face. Look at the black, look how black that is. These are so like lovely to touch. That's the brown. Imagine I forgot to do like an intro or something for one of my videos. It's like a copper. Didn't think I would like that, but you see the more I look at it, the more I'm like, that's nice. Green. Come on. Come on. We'll save the bet the, the last two for this side of my chin. This silver is really pretty and I've never had like a silver cream liner before. Amazing sausages in its literature. It's like teal. It's like a blue teal. And then we'll do these two again. Look at that colour. Is that not the coolest gel eyeliner colour? Maybe followed by this blue. Which has like shimmer in it. Let me put it on my nose. So it kind of picks up more. Are you serious? Look at that one. Again, that's called Steel. That is beautiful. I cannot. I will not. I do not. That is stunning. 
So yeah, that is everything that I got for a belt in a PR haul. Again, blown away. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. I don't mean to sound or like come across as like braggy or anything. I'm just absolutely flabbergasted that Melt like reached out to me and sent me some things because I am just Melissa the Blob, you know, from from Scotland, and I just can't quite fathom it. So yeah, I wanted to to show you guys as well. Yeah, that is going to be all for me today. I have now completely finished filming. Woohoo! And I'm going to go make some pasta and then start editing videos. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching and thank you guys for either being sausages or being subscribers to my channel because without you guys I wouldn't be able to, like, get some of the makeup I have or be able to afford some of the makeup I have to do looks with some of the makeup I have and then get noticed by brands and it just blows me away. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm going to piss off. I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope I'll catch all the clips out. Bye. I'm so hungry by the way that I'm like getting to the point of being like hangry but also this is very exciting. Okay. <laughs>